right. Welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. It's a nice, soft bed that we can use as a guest of the hero princess. Do you want to spend the night? Yes. So we went to sleep. Okay, good. I was right about the cutscene. And if he here says, Oh, I have awakened you, it seems. Um, I have a message from the princess. And it is that she would like for you to come to the throne room. Uh, there, I have conveyed the message. Please excuse me. happy that this the sleeping jingle has stayed the same yeah it's little things like that that tend to give the series such a sense of nostalgia because they just haven't changed over these 30 some years that these games have existed the easiest way to play this game? Probably on a PC with a VPN. Well, you're gonna need a VPN for any version of the game you play that's not the 3DS version. also called here by Princess Amusia. I have called the two of you here for no other reason than lately there has been a red dragon that appeared in a neighboring cave. It's, we received reports that it's been causing trouble um, from this point or I intend to set out to eradicate it and so I I wanted to ask you Mishua if you would like to come with me to take on the red dragon. Red dragon? Yeah, that's that's a bit of a jump in difficulty. Uh, me? Uh, I don't think I would be of any use if I went. Of course, I don't in say this intending for you to fight. But I thought if we traveled there together that it might have a good influence on your memories. That may be the case. I understand. I will go. Um... I fear, Princess Amusia, that 
it may be too dangerous of a place to take Mishiwa along to. Indeed, my character is super cute. If my missing grandson, Tegram, were here, I would assign him to her as her guardian, but that's right. However, you don't need to worry for Mishua's safety. That's the reason why I've called Mel here. Yeah, I'm curious about this too. I, I don't know, red, red dragons and memories. You, you know that old saying, right? <laughs> Mel, uh, will you accompany us to the cave to ensure Mishua's safety? Uh, I can rest easy in trusting you with her. Well, if, if there's no one else that's going to be there to protect her, yeah, I'll go along and do that. So you accept. Thank you very much, Mel. Sorry that you have to do this for my sake. It's fine, don't worry. Well then, let us set off. The cave where the red dragon has been appearing is in the area south of the Grand Zadora area called Rovos Heights. Um, deep within a cave called the Zedera Cave. I will go on ahead to enter the cave. Mel, I'm entrusting Mishua to you. Okay. I will make preparations to leave immediately. Uh, let's meet down at the town entrance. Thanks for your help, Mel. Okay. And I'm sure the chancellor there just says, yeah, you're supposed to meet her down at the entrance to town. So let's go. Downstairs. Oh. We didn't get a chance to do this before. But there's a plaque up here. Read the words carved in it. And it is titled Altar of the Hero. thousand years ago, there was a fight against an immortal demon lord. And at the end of that struggle, it was the great hero who stood victorious. And we praise him here. So there you go. It looks a little bit like Zanclone, but I don't think it's supposed to be. 
the hero word that they use for him is a different word than the hero they use for the princess and her ancestors. Apparently there's one every now and then or every generation or something. Okay. I need to go set a zoom stone somewhere in this area. It looks like the boss arena is clear if you guys want to fight another boss while I'm running around. Oh, welcome back, Cran. Boss fight. I'll join you guys this time. water surrounding the church. I'm going to have to approach it from the south. You're online? Okay, Cran. We are about to go take care of a red dragon. First, I need to set a zoom stone. Um, start by using this one. What's going to be the most helpful? I think going straight to the right in front of the castle is probably going to save more time than setting it at the town entrance. So we'll go there. If we do start needing another one set to the front of town, then I can reset the one that I have for Arahagiro to Grand Zadora. All right. All right. I love it when she does the flip when I make her jump. It's the green dragon! Alright, Cran. I almost missed my turn there. If you can meet me at the front of town here, I will add you to my party. Still no deaths. Do I. Do, is this okay with you guys? Would it be more interesting if I made the monsters a little harder? Or is it just kind of fun to be like, oh, we fought a green dragon, and we won because we're the heroes? Hi, Karen. Oh, no. I took one step too far forward and triggered the cutscene. Thanks for waiting, Mel. Um, I finished my preparations, so let's go. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, they said the dragon was appearing in the Rovos Heights, south of Grand Zadora, in the Zedra Cave. I will follow behind you, so don't worry about me, and just head for the cave. Alright. Yeah. I think 
I think you weren't here yet when I mentioned it, Chillin', but I did change the currency from slime drops to mini metals. Oh! Cran just changed. You just changed from. You changed races. It seemed like mini metals seemed like a better currency system. Yes, they are elves. Did you try a trick you learned? Do I need to go back in town to see it? Change multiple races. Yeah, I'd be happy to show off my main character on stream. <clears throat> she is an elf. How d how did you change into being a Pokeball, Cran? How did that happen? I don't know what happened. The only point in the game that I was aware of being able to change into a race that wasn't your own was uh, the Halloween event. And so I'm not, I actually have no idea how you managed that. All right. Oh, you've got an a UFO. What? Oh, that's right. I reset myself to a really low level class. Why is it telling me to go to the castle when I already know I'm supposed to head down to the cave. Konami code apparently is dangerous. Is that actually how you got to change, Cran? Okay, this is not gonna go well. Do I have to trigger something else first? I don't think so. All my damage is gone. I don't even have any. That the UFO makes an adorable sound. How did that guy catch me? It 
if you're okay with driving, Cran. I know the UFO is a four-person mount. But then I I disappear inside. Uh, the cave too. South. <laughs> Maybe it would be better if I drove. You have to go to the Zedra cave in the map area south of here. I can agree with both you guys chilling and Nathan. My second character that I made is actually a Weddy, but I had to make an elf first and foremost. South! Oh, here's Cran showing off the boost that uh, the dull board can get. That is on my list of things to show off in side quests once done. Nope, not this way. Not this way, Karen. Not this way. Not this way. How the male weddies look too. So my other my weddy character is actually a male. Heading down to that cave over there on the right. I didn't think there was going to be getting around that guy. We got a boost just as we went by. Otherwise, he'd have gotten us. Okay. So we're all here. So you've come now. Yes, and I brought Mishua with me. Thank you very much, Mel. Because of you, I was able to reach this place safely. Mishua, you've come as well. Then we're all here. The nest of the red dragon is within. 
Uh, there, I'm sure there are monsters along the path. Uh, don't let your guard down, Mal. Let's go. Mel, let's go too. <laughs> Cran's having a shower. Alright. So we've got to make it all the way around to the dragon's nest. And we're going to ride on Trent twin dragons. Oh, there's a little camp here. Interesting. We don't need to rest or anything. We're fine. But we have Scary Boss Monster Door. I am going to remember to use the Genki Dama. Yes, I want to fight the monster. Here goes. Oh, this is going to be Hectic. Generally, I try to take out the pillars first. Unfortunately, the golo ice golem can tension up. Hi, Aura! Welcome! How are you doing? Thank you for the hope. No, everybody else got knocked down. Come on, guys. You can stand back up. Oh no, I'm the one who's done. I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks, DQ10. What could possibly be better? So now we can cross through the door. Treasure! Girl Squad, except for Matt. But quite honestly, why would you go anywhere without him? Yeah, I do have the Angel Slime hat on. I thought my XP seemed a little bit low, but maybe not. Is that Puklipo wearing a maid outfit? Nope, it's Cran in magic armor. You can just barely see it on top of that dinosaur there. Oh, you're an interesting mushroom bubble slime. And I've never fought one of you before. Mm. 
Yes, Matt is always welcome in my party. I am lucky to have him. Okay. So there's... Some twists and turns in this cave. Oh, not the not the shadow. Shadow got me anyway. That's funny, Cran. look interesting and I have not fought one of you I can understand that aura is a rose. That's cute. Okay. Ah! Nope, the shadow got me while I was trying to dodge the slime. Oh yeah, or uh, the um, Stella's outfit was available through um, the the app. It was one of the uh, higher level prizes you could get for doing draw tickets. So between that and some of the pieces being inexpensively listed on the bazaar. Nechan's got a full set on her character Yoake there. Another group for the boss fight. How many people we got this time? Oh no, there's a treasure chest outside the door. You know what that means! I've only got three minutes left on Genki time. That's gonna run out. That's not a real treasure chest. That's a crayon in a box. I'm going to join you guys for boss fight and see if we can get the next level up one to appear. in a box is better than a can of box. You are correct. So this is the dragon's nest. So you've arrived, the two of you. Sorry to say, but it, I don't see any sign of the red dragon. Most likely fled in fear of Princess Anne Lucia.
Yeah, that's that's true, Cran. That is true. Hmm. Fine, if that's the case. By the way, Mishua, did you happen to remember anything on the way here? No, nothing. I see. That's too bad. But there's no reason to fret. Hmm? Uh, sounds like the red dragon's probably back. my job. I should have been right there with her. Don't come near me. Mel, help! What? Don't stop me! What am I doing? Grah! Ah! That power that was without a doubt the hero's power. So you really are. My lost other half. I've finally found you. Your lost half? What are you saying, Princess Anlucia? I would put more emphasis on the roars and the screams, but I don't want to blow out anyone's ears. No matter how hard I tried. Why do you think it is that I could not awaken as the hero? Because there was something missing from me. Something that wasn't enough. Uh, I've always felt that that was the reason. And when I met you at the castle, I realized just what that was. Welcome! How are you doing? You're in time for some drama. You are the half of me that's missing. I don't know when you stole the hero's power from me and split off, but of course you wouldn't have any memories. You don't exist as a single human in the world without me now that you've split yourself off. The reason you headed for Granzador Castle and appeared in front of me was because you were unconsciously trying to return to the place you belonged. That can't... I... 
Ay. Once you become one with me, I will be able to awaken as the hero. Mel, rejoice! The dream you saw is going to come true. We must begin preparations for the ceremony. Let us hurry back to the castle. <laughs> what, why am I not doing anything? We will accompany you to Granzadora Castle. Please do not struggle. Okay, so I didn't even get a proper boss fight out of that. And now my friend has been taken away. Hi Cran, what are you what you doing? What no really what are you doing? No what What is this emote? I can't tell if you're having fun. Or, no, you look like you're having fun. Being swung through the air? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. We'll have to see when we, when this ceremony takes place, how they're gonna... plan to do this. Alright. That, that is what it looked like. A Mickey Mouse glove. Let's see. I do not have outside spell. Does it work here? Not out of hug, you know. I want to go to the castle. Nope, didn't work. Maybe it would have worked if I was in the center of the room. Probably not, though. I wish this game was a US release as well. It's funny because usually if you go to zoom and you're gonna. Oh and you're gonna hit the, your head on the ceiling, your your crew won't do it. Cran, do you have outside? Otherwise I'm just gonna use a bell. Not a priest spell. That's weird. No evac. Not on the classes we are now. I switched over to being a martial artist, but uh, even Cran's priest doesn't have... Are we far enough away from the entrance to the cave that I'm not going to bonk my head? Yeah, nobody's got evac. It is unfortunately only given to certain classes in this game. Everybody else can use an item. Okay. What do I need to do? Okay, I do need to go to the castle. Mm. 
Minstrel does have it. There are some other... I think Mage might have it as well. Sage, I'm pretty sure, does. My Minstrel has it, but she's AI, so... So am I, Cran, so am I. Do a flip, Mel. She didn't want to flip. thinking that I would try and keep the stream to about four hours, which means about an hour left. But I also wanted to finish 2.0 on the game, so we'll have to see how that goes. No, that's not where I need to go. Alright, which royal room do I need to go to then? Oh, I bet I need to go up to the third floor. Taken me, Shua. By orders of Princess and Lucia, you cannot proceed further. We cannot allow a guest to pass through here. Stand down. Oh, Mel, here's where you were. I have something to talk with you about concerning Mishua. Please come this way. I know, right? My bedroom that was assigned to me is beyond that door. Where am I supposed to sleep now? Tell you the truth. Um, I've been ordered by Princess and Lucia to also not get close to the room in the tower where Mishua is. But all that Princess and Lucia told me was that Mishua was necessary for the ceremony of the hero's awakening. What in the world happened at Zedera Cave? What? Mishua is Princess Anusia's missing half? But that can't be. Or more like, you know, how, how can such a thing be possible? Um, I wonder what Princess Anusia plans to do with Mishua. Mel, Mishua may be in very grave danger.
in town. You Have you heard the stories about people who've all of a sudden gone missing? We actually haven't talked to any of the NPCs in town, but if we, or actually, or around the castle. But if we had, we'd have heard some stories about some people going missing. To tell you the truth, my grandson, Degram, is one among those. It said that those who've gone missing uh, have disappeared shortly after being in the presence of Princess Anlucia. But up until this point, nobody has thought to doubt what's going on. I was also one of those. Even though my beloved grandson had disappeared, I somehow felt that it was normal and held no reservations about it. Why did I not mind that my grandson had gone missing up until now? It's like there's been a fog in my heart. At this rate, something might happen to Mishua. I entrust this to you. We got an old silver key. The tower in which Mishu is being held in the castle has a secret passage that was built into it for the royal family to escape if danger ever befell the place. The secret passage exits out into a cave and connects to the Seabreeze Cave. So it, if you take the opposite path to get to it, you should be able to enter the tower. That key that I just gave you unlocks the secret passage door inside the Seabreeze Cave. So you should be able to open it from there. The Seabreeze Cave is located in a place where it won't catch anyone's eye. Go to the west of the castle into the northern Bibule area. Um, you should find the entrance in along the cl ocean cliffs there. I'm really worried about Mishua. Please do something to help her. Can that key open the big lock? I will try. And you are correct. The princess is getting suspicious. Nope, doesn't work. A terrace door. Do I have oh, it 
killed my gesture. Wanted to applaud. There we go. Juggling a slime on the parasol. That's super cute, Cran. Oh, how many people are up for the boss this time, guys? guys can get one more I think oh oh cool let's see um where do we have to go I actually have to go outside the castle Cran do you have a zoom stone that could take me there no Nope, we're walking. I'm pretty sure I can't anyway. I don't know, what are you guys going to be fighting? What's a step up from a green dragon? You guys, you got the dragon lord. Did everybody survive that encounter? That's, that's amazing, because he was supposed to be pretty hard. I think he, there's only like a 60% chance that everyone's going to make it through the Dragon Lord alive. Oh no, where'd that come from? You guys are awesome. Grats.
almost to get that joke, Corinne. All right, so we need to head up to where the water is to get to the Oceanside Cliffs. And once we get up there, we gotta search for the entrance to the cave. one of you guys before? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you need 27 mini medals to trade in for a ball of light. I think the uh, the dual command there probably timed out. It'll take a minute for it to come back up. This is what you guys get for blocking the path. I'll hit you a whole one. Should have picked up some claws in town or something. Yeah, I think time expired too, right before you got the, the full command in. I think it only takes one, one, oh, I need to change the text on that. One currency to be able to duel. There we go. I will get that fixed. Thank you for the heads up, Nathan. All right, treasure. Here we are. That's a really nice view. And as I stepped there, it triggered the cutscene. <laughs> Who's following me now? Oh? Who could I have... Was it... Let's see. Saw somebody and decided to follow them and it turns out to be you. Hi, Claws! been a while now. I've heard many rumors about you. Or rumors period. Oh, uh, so this place had a cave entrance here. 
That is quite interesting. Ah, so you're heading inside. I see. Well then, maybe I will take a peek around inside myself. Excuse me. Alright, let's head inside. Oh, there's so many locked doors! Why don't I have a key? What are you? Kombu Taisha. Seaweed General. This way. numbers are so small, it's silly. Um, I apologize if you can hear my neighbors outside yelling. Okay, so we're heading for the far right. Looks like we've got a, a ladder to go up and then a door. How much you want to bet it's going to be an evil boss door? My microphone did not pick it up? Well, good, because I could hear it through my headphones and they are mostly soundproof. Oh, wait. I do not want to go in yet. I want to use... I used my last one. Okay, then. We'll do this. What monster do we have this time? Oh. Interesting.
level up. And some skill points. And now we can get through the door. start putting points into claws bare hands maybe since that's what I'm currently using <laughs> trans flying on a balloon Sirens outside. Oh no, not these guys. Run. These guys are the worst. Locked door, can't get through. We're almost there. Okay. Door's locked. I've got the key though. Yes, I opened it with the key I got from Dime. <laughs> Cran won the duel again! Okay, so they won't let us ride mounts here. We have to go to that room there. There's treasure. Casino coin ticket bronze. That'll be handy. We'll trade it in for coins later. Okay, and this guy unfortunately says this used to be a place where criminals were shut up in it used to be a dungeon um i was stuck here for a long time i opened a hole in the ceiling and thought i'd finally get free and then I slipped off the ladder, and now you see what happened. Take a look inside the dungeon. If you climb the ladder, you can use the hole that I opened in the ceiling to get outside the castle. So, if you go here, you can open up... the passage that will let us out. Yes, he is rather see-through, for he is a ghost. And it lets us out outside the castle. So now we can use this passage when we need to. What are you, what you doing, Cran? Singing! How do you get that emote? I've never seen it before. Alright. And then there's a room here. I'll get it through story progression. Okay, that's cool. You can hear voices talking in the next room. I recognize that guy. Not that guy, the other guy. Good work at Arahagiro. 
Bellwood had started to run wild. It was the right choice to send you there. Well then, Basara. What is the status of the new experiment materials? Yes, Kirugiru is this guy's name. What should I call? Kilgil? Lord Kilgil. Uh, the girl is in the room in the tower and she's behaving. There's no sign of her making a fuss. Hyo, hyo, hyo. That is good. If possible, I would prefer not to injure such important experiment materials. I'm going to go all out with this next experiment. What is that part there? Because this time the experiment materials hold no ordinary power. Let us hurry with preparations. We must gather a large amount of magical power. I leave the escorting to you. I understand. Now then, let's go hunting. Hyo, hyo, hyo. Hmm. Well, Green Dragon, good luck guys. I'm sure you will beat it no problem. Are you slurping noodles? <laughs> Gonna make Mel hungry. Let's see. Um, oh, I think there's a book in here that would be good. Which one? This one. Kilgill's Research Diary. Begun the process. Let's see. I have come to the conclusion from my experiment results that I am able to extract magic power from living beings at a satisfactory rate. However, this is getting creepy. Um, to achieve the result that I am seeking, I require 
a much stronger magical power. I predict that I will need a specimen that is that has much stronger ability. No, come back. The Vortex of Creation. The enormous amount of magical power uh, held within the Vortex of Creation. Oh, there, there is an enormous amount of power and the plans to make use of it are currently under construction. Okay, that all sounds very ominous. Anything here? Any weapon that I can just pick up? Because I don't have one that I can equip. Actually, I haven't checked that for a couple of levels. Nope. Still nothing. Onward! Yeah, the vortex of creation sounds like something we don't want to get involved with. Another locked door, but I want in there. Apparently it's not allowed. I'll have to come back sometime after I find the right key. Feel a faint breeze blowing from the wall that has a painting on it. You mean the one that looks like a hidden doorway? Yep. This looks like a hidden door. Do you want to go to the other side? Yes. All of a sudden we have normal castle music. Okay, so if this is the tower, that's probably the doorway to get back out. I'm betting there's guards there. Let's go in here instead. What does martial artists do in this? Um, they can or attack and they can buff themselves pretty well. Uh, they have tension abilities. They're the only, one of the few classes that can do that. I just don't have the right kind of equipment on me to make the most use of it. But my, my main class was getting pretty high leveled, and I wanted to start giving some XP to another class. Mishra's here! What? Okay, I don't know how you could mistake me for that guy. That's right. There was always someone by my side protecting me. But I can't remember. Who was that person? 
Mel, you came to help me, didn't you? Thank you for coming to my help so many times. Princess Amusia said I'm her lost other half, that I'm not a full person, but in my head sometimes I see fragments of memories. But if those are my real memories, then that means that I'm not the other half of Princess and Lucia. <laughs> uh, no, no, Ethan, I think they stopped. But I do live pretty close to a fire station, so I'm assuming those are the sirens you're hearing. I want to get my memories back. I want to remember that person. How do I get my memories back? Tell me, Mel. You appear to be in trouble. Claus, you followed me here. I apologize for listening to your conversation. I'm sure you do. <laughs> You are? We met at the three gates, but this is the first time we've spoken. I'm Claus, a friend of Mel's. You know, that might be taking it a little too far. I have a little bit of a special power. Um the power to play with people's memories. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the warning, Cran! Yeah, he's already here. Mishua's memories. If you wish, I can... Examine them for you or bring them out. If that will get my memories back, then yes, please. Leave it to me. Now then, excuse me. This is... I cannot touch the memories. It appears the memories themselves have some kind of power that is sealing them. But why? Why your memories were sealed? That I also do not know, but there still may be another way. However, before that, I will I want to ask you one thing. At the point in time when your sealed memories return, you may learn that you have had a cruel destiny imposed upon you. You may learn that. There is no guarantee that you will be able to bear it. 
Even so, do you want them to return? I do. No matter what kind of terrible memories they are, they're still my important memories. For the sake of that person who was always by my side, I definitely need to remember. I'm relieved to hear you say that. <laughs> In order to revive your sealed memories, someone must go inside your memories and undo the seal. That's going to be me, isn't it? Now, Mel, it's your turn. Great. Before, when we passed through the three gates, you had gathered three butterflies. Do you remember that? Yes. Now is the time for those butterflies to take flight. Oh, they're pretty. Beautiful, isn't it? It is the it's the mysterious door that leads to the world of memories. If you set foot inside this door, it will be the world of Mishua's memories. Now, go into the pillar of light now. Yeah, what is that about? I, I actually can't tell you, couldn't tell you. All right, so I have solo boss fight coming up. Okay. Um, yeah, I knew that. I did know that, but thank you for the reminder, Cran. I don't think I can go out the uh, the main door, so I have to take the tunnel again. Yeah, the game the game's pretty good about not forcing you to do things on your own all that much if you want to party with people, so... I am going to go change back into a warrior, though. If I'd remembered this sooner, I could have just done it while I was on my way here. So it's actually getting kind of close to the time when I was thinking to end the stream. But, 
since we've opened the pathway to the memory world. Thinking it might be a good idea to just continue through it. If that isn't going to be too long of a stream for everybody. get out the castle. Okay. Alright guys, I'll keep going. Nope, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go to the bar. why I was getting so little XP. Am I a cat? I am. That kind of bites. I don't really want to take a break to do the level cap quest, but that means that all of this stuff I'm not going to get XP for. Wait, I know what I can do. Where's... The inn's down at the opposite end of town. Well, I can at very least set it so that my quest XP goes to the concierge. I won't get the XP for fighting any monsters, though. It's okay. I didn't think I was that close to level cap. set that up. XP settings. So it had been set to accept as quest is cleared, and now I'm going to have it then send it to the concierge instead. So I can at least get that. It sounded like my alchemy pot was ready. Um, that was a notification from the game that my uh, two times XP buff ended So long to walk. Okay. 
down to the basement. Is it time for another boss fight, you guys? back music I heard someone walking around in here. Oh. <laughs> Cran's got a trade for me. Oh, wow. Is it really okay to take those crap? give you something for it. Okay. Thank you. That was a bunch of uh, Yggdrasil dew, which will come in handy in this fight. Okay. We're going to enter her memories after a short break. I gotta go refill my water glass again. All right. Thanks for joining me, guys. Sorry for leaving this on a bit of a cliffhanger. I'll be back in just a couple minutes and we will see what the world of Mishua's memories looks like. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you in just a few.